Hello and welcome back to Fate Grand Order. I just rolled for Ishtar and you know it was <laughs> a pretty funny end to the rolling session. Um, that's all I'm gonna say if you wanna know why exactly that is. Just uh, watch the video, it's probably gonna come out before this one. But yeah, now that I'm done with Ishtar and I finally got her, I am here on the Rhinus and the Feistion banner because I do kinda want the Feistion. I was just waiting for the Irish and Ishtar banners first because, you know, those kinda at higher priority for me, but since uh, this banner is still going on, um, now that I'm done with Erish and Ishtar, might as well do some rolls here. I already have Rhinus, she's MP1, I wouldn't mind getting more MP levels for her, but my main target here is Hephaestion because she is new. But I only want MP1 for Hephaestion, I'm not gonna go for like MP5 or anything like that. Don't even have enough quartz for that and I'm not gonna buy any more quartz here. Just gonna see if I can get MP1. And if I do, nice. If not, it is what it is, you know. Um, it's just she's a permanent servant as far as I know. So I really don't need any more than MP1. Because I might get some spooks of her eventually in the future. Who knows. So yeah, let's just start the rolls. I'm just gonna do a multis here. And then if I don't get her in those multis, maybe some singles at the end. We'll see. Starting off with a caster, Easter Servant, nothing special here. Is this a good or a bad sign? Who knows? <laughs> and a Maputofu, that's definitely a bad sign. I got a Maputofu very early in my Ishter rolls, and these rolls, you know, let's just say Ishter took a while to show up. She did show up in the end though, so. Ooh, Min roll right at the beginning. Um, <laughs> okay, let's just hope that the next few rolls are gonna be better, like a lot better than this. Okay, another not so great multi, but look at this weird sequence there. Kitgill into the Gracie, into Kitgill, into the Gracie, into another Kitgill. That's kind of funny. What the heck? <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, let's just continue. Oh, wow. Basically another mineral. Just old Forster sees that I don't need anymore. Okay, um, last multi, I guess. Come on, just give me something here, game. Double-sided Lancer, not the class I'm looking for. Neza, wow. Oh. If a Lancer spooks me, it's always Neza. I'm pretty sure she's MP5 at this point. Oh, another Gold Servant, come on, please. Show me the Pretender class. Do it. Yes! There we go. Okay. I got her. I'm happy. It was worth it. Had to go all the way to the last multi, but, you know, a win is a win. Okay. Let's hear what she has to say. Was she talking about the uh, stuff that happened in the Riot Zeppelin, in the event? I get the reference because I played the event. Was it? Okay, there we go. The NASA spook, you know, when that happened I was like, oh, you can't be fucking serious, you can't just do this to me. Um, but, 
All is well that ends well. <laughs> I got her in the same multi. But yeah, seriously, it's always Nessa when I get spooked by Lancers. And I don't hate her, but I also don't really like her that much. And there are some other permanent Lancers, like the Valkyries, for example. I'm pretty sure they are permanent, right? That I never get from any spooks. Even though I love the Valkyries. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. And like I said, I'm happy because in the end I got my main target here. So... Yeah, and I still have a handful of quartz left, I guess, for future banners. I think the next banner I'm rolling on is probably gonna be Valentine's. I think Viritra has a right up there, and I might go for MP2, because I recently grabbed my Viritra. So yeah, another MP level for her would be nice. Or maybe I'll just roll for Bazette, who knows. But for now, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.